Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about, what are we talking about? Oh, we're talking about index funds. This is an investment that can not only help you become a millionaire, but also how it could save you time, keep you more productive and less stress than any other investment. Sounds good, right? But guys, before I start, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you can hit the like button down below. It really helps me with YouTube's algorithm as I continue growing this channel. Much, much appreciated. So as a real estate agent, and a real estate investor, as well as coming from a family of all things real estate, I was always a little bit soured on the stock market. I figured there was no way for a small guy like me to compete with hedge funds and Wall Street pros. Looking back, that cost me so much in potential gains by not being invested over the years. But that's the same mentality that convinced me that index funds are the best way to be invested into the stock market for 99% of us. First, let me explain what an index fund is. An index fund is an ETF or a mutual fund that tracks a broad index or sector. There are many different types of index funds that tracks anything from the S&P 500 to the NASDAQ 100, and now you even have an ETF that tracks Bitcoin. It is a great way to automatically diversify your investment while not having to pick out individual stocks yourself. For instance, the ETF VOO tracks the S&P 500 and has 514 separate holdings. So if one or two of those stocks are having a bad day, you have the other rest of the stocks to pick you up. The bet that you're making is that the overall market will have more stocks that go up over time than down. That's a safe bet because even though past returns don't indicate future results, the S&P 500 averages a 10% annual return going all the way back to its inception in 1926. That's a long time ago. So here's my story. After my first house flip back in 2016, I made a chunk of cash and I needed a place to put it. So I started researching the stock market and I came across an online forum called Boggleheads. Boggleheads is an investment community based on Jack Boggle's investment strategy to emphasize regular saving, broad diversification, and sticking to one's investment plan regardless of market conditions. The main motto for Jack Bogle is to give ordinary investors a fair shake. I'm in. Mr. Bogle's strategy uses something called a three fund approach using ETFs and mutual funds to accomplish this. These three funds are total US stock market, total international stock market, as well as bonds. And the percentages of each really depends on your age and your retirement situation. As I kept investing in real estate flips, I would use index funds for a place to keep my cash in between projects. But my last flip was almost a year and a half ago, and I have continuously still kept adding to my index fund positions. And honestly, the returns have been so great it's hard to take my money out. Now, could I have made more by YOLOing into GameStop or AMC? Possibly. But you see, I'm not a stock market pro. I can't read charts, I know nothing about technical analysis, and I simply have no desire or even time to read earnings reports and listen to earnings calls. Frankly, I probably would have bought at the peak and end up losing all my money with those meme stocks anyway. That is why the stats show that the average retail investor like myself averages a lower return than the S&P 500 as a whole. That is because most retail investors trade strictly off of emotion and end up with a much lower return than if they just put their money into a broad index fund that tracks the S&P. Hell, even 95% of hedge funds and financial pros can't consistently beat the market over time. So I always figured, why try to find a needle in a haystack when I could buy the whole damn haystack? You need to know what you're good at and what you're not. If you're good at all that stuff, great. But if you're not, don't pretend that you are and save your time, save your sanity. From my experience, anytime I tried to buy an individual stock, not only did I lose most of my money, but I ended up checking the quotes and the news way too often and I simply worried and stressed about it too much. That's what's so great about index funds. It keeps your investment strategy simple, focused and mostly stress-free. I found that the amount of time that I saved and the amount of stress that I saved myself from helped me be more productive and happier in every other part of life. Now, if you wanna take a little bit more risk than what Jack Bogle would recommend, that may not be a bad idea, especially if you're younger. In my instance, instead of a three fund approach, I really just have a one fund approach with a tilt towards tech. I have about 75% of my portfolio in ETFs like VOO and VTI, 
and the other 25% in tech ETFs like QQQ and VGT. I have absolutely no international stocks or bonds. Now I know this completely goes against the bogglehead strategy, but I figure with interest rates and the economic environment that we've been in, as well as my overall younger age of 32, I could stand the risk. I would rather bet on the American stock market over anything else because it's been a proven winner over the last 100 plus years. If you're ever having a severe case of FOMO, you can always go into some individual stocks, but I would suggest keeping the total amount to about five to 10% max of your total portfolio. That way, if you lose most of it or all of it, it's not gonna kill you. So how does this compare to real estate investing? Real estate investing, especially buy and hold rentals, are also a long game, just like index funds. And I still love real estate investing for the tax savings, the equity, and the leverage that it can provide. But it is also much more work than simply clicking a few buttons on Fidelity or Vanguard and buying ETFs. That's why the key to index fund investing is the same as real estate investing. Buy and hold, never sell, think long term, and know it's never a bad time to invest. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any thoughts or comments about my ideas or philosophy on index fund investing, leave it in the comment section down below. I would love to respond to you. Also, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, once again, I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, I would really, really love if you subscribe to the channel. It really helps as I grow the channel. I'm gonna start putting up about two to three videos per week, so we have a lot more great content coming soon. Thank you so much again, and until next time.